we are now walking in the doggy room. I know it's quite different from the last doggy room that I have shown. And obviously we have rescued some more dogs. And they're currently outside right now enjoying the sun. So I thought I would do a quick tour of this room. As you can see, there's a lot of cages. And they have their little beds in there. And I have some decor pieces. This one is from Hobby Lobby. It says, no home is complete without the pitter patter of doggy feet. This is the closet. I store extra beds in there for them. And behind the door, here is a wooden sign of dog rules. I think I got this from Home Goods. So you're more than welcome to pause it and read what it says on that. So I'm gonna spin you back around. Uh, we have a TV right there in the corner. Uh, we put on cartoons for them uh, while we're gone, so you know the noise calms them down. Some canvases, some more signs. A lot of these signs are from Ross, and these canvases are ordered off of Groupon. And here's a poster that I found at Michael's. I just framed it with a bunch of doggies and cupcakes. We have a little security camera in the corner so we can check up on them while we're gone. The window, some more cages, and more cages. Um, excuse the mess, <laughs> not everything's been washed so it's a little bit messy. We got some treats and cleaners and air fresheners and toilet paper and paper towels and stuff there. And in this corner, I have their doggy clothes in here. And this piece is from Ikea. I forget the name of it because it was discontinued, so I got it for a really good deal. Brand new. And here we go. You have an option to take this rod off or take all of them off, but I have them obviously up for all their clothes to fit in here. I got from the smallest on to kind of the bigger clothes that way. And majority of these clothes are from Ross. They are the best deal that I find that are brand new doggy clothes. And you know, some from various places like PetSmart, um, whatever deals I can find. And then down here, it's not really too organized. I have to go through it. But these bins I've had for a while, um, and they're from either Walmart or Bed Bath & Beyond. I have some extra clothes in here, maybe some diapers um, back when we were training them. And extra harnesses and collars and jackets, this is all for the winter. And extra clothes and diapers again there. And down here we have, I don't know what's all in here, some stuffed animals, toys, things like that and oh, waste bag dispensers. I actually hauled this before in a previous video a while back. Um, we usually have other plastic bags. I haven't opened that yet. It's just extra, extra stuff. And in this drawer, sorry about the dust, um, I have, these are all actually uh, given to me, these uh, Halloween costumes. And some I do buy like this uh, little piggy costume. I thought it was really adorable. It was only $7.99. It's by the brand Chow Chow. And I thought that'd be cute to dress them up in it. That's basically what's in this storage unit. This pretty much sums up the doggy room. Sorry about the mess again right there. <laughs> it's a little dusty. But thanks for watching guys. I will see you on the next video.